This is not a 3D object, but rather a 2D layer. This was created with a plugin called Extrudalizer. In simple terms, the way that this works is by calculating the shape's position in a 3D coordinate system and then converts it into 2D. Once you've got the Extrudalizer plugin installed, you will need to go to Window, go down to extrudalizer.jsxbin. You need to enable this in order to actually have the Extrudalizer panel open. And straight away, you're going to notice that everything has been neatly organized into clickable graphics alongside with the nice presets and templates right here. We can just left click on here and it will generate us a simple 3D cube. We can also change the view if we wanted a translucent view. This makes it half transparent. We can set it to wireframe, which will only focus on the edges. And then of course, we also have the default view as well. Now, if you wanted a quick and simple animation, you can also apply a Y axis loop, which will rotate the shape in a anti-clockwise or you can set a Z, this will rotate it and an X as well, which will make it flip forwards. Now, speaking of the shape and the animation, we also have the main menu options. These ones will allow you to change the front, back and sides. So let's say, for example, we wanted the shape to be nice, plain and simple. Let's start from scratch. We can set the front and back to a solid color. We can also remove any shaders from the shape right here by clicking onto the first one. Now, in order for the changes to apply, we need to click on re extrude the and then this will apply the changes. And as you can see, we now have a simple shape. If you wanted to add a gradient effect, you can click on the first one. This will apply to the front and back. And of course, you can also add the shaders or you can also apply a gradient drop shadow effect. Once again, we're going to click on re extrude lies and see the changes. And there we go. As you can see, we have the front and back and the sides. Now let's say that we wanted to change the 3D transform. We can first of all change the depth to something like let's say 20 and this will just make it look a lot more thinner. We have the position, we can move it left or right and then up and down as well. Now over to the scale, we can also change the scale. For this one, we're going to apply it to both of them rather than just only one. Otherwise, it's going to look like this. Underneath this, we have the pitch, roll and yawn, which will allow us to rotate this in this direction or we can rotate it up and down. And of course, the Z as well, which will allow us to rotate it in this direction as well. Underneath this, we have the orbit controls, which will give us some more rotating options, such as the X, but in the opposite direction, the Y, once again, in a anti-clockwise direction, and the Z as well. Now, the one that we're going to talk about is also the appearance. And this one is a really important one because in the appearance, we can toggle the anchor point. So if it's really annoying you seeing the red dot in the middle, you can just click on hide anchor point. We also have the wireframe mode, which once again is similar to the button right here. If you click this button, it will just automatically toggle on the wireframe mode. And with the wireframe mode, we can also change the stroke width to something like five. We can also apply a bigger depth, let's say over 100. We can then go back into the appearance and also change the edge color of the stroke. Now, if your shape wasn't a wireframe, you can also apply the transparency right here and set this to, let's say 50. And as you can see, this will just make it more transparent and you can actually see through the shape. Underneath this, we also have the front and back. And we're going to once again, disable the wireframe mode. And we're going to change the front color right here. We can change it to a red color. We could change the back to, let's say, a green. And then further down, we also have the sides as well, which will allow us to change the color of the sides right here. Now, this one will apply to all of the sides. So if you wanted to be very specific with your sides and you only wanted to apply a specific color, then you can go back onto the main menu and then click on the color sides right here. 
And this will just separate your shape sides into separate colors. So if we wanted to change this gray color, we can apply a nice baby blue. And there we go. Now, another great thing about this plugin is that you can also turn any custom shape you wanted to into a 3D shape. What we would do is we would get ourselves the shape tool. We're just going to get ourselves a normal rectangular tool and just simply left click, drag this out and get yourself a shape. We're going to press Control Alt and Home and we're going to center align the shape in the middle of the screen. We're also going to get ourselves a roundness of let's say 25 just to nicely round off those edges. In order to turn the shape into a 3D shape, we need to open up rectangular one and we're going to right click on here and convert to Bezier path. Once you've done that, we can select this and then we can click on the extrude lies. You can click on proceed and toggle and there we go. We now have this phone right here. At the moment, you may not notice much. It just looks 2D up until you go into the 3D transform and then you change the Y. You can see we have this phone right here. It's a little bit too thick at the moment and we're just going to adjust the depth to 25 as well. Just make it a little bit more thinner. And there we go. Currently, there is a little problem with the edges. And if we zoom in, you can see they are visible at the moment, which isn't supposed to happen, but this will be fixed. And also going back to the previous settings, the Bezier one, this is exactly what this does right here. If you have a look at it right now, it's set to five. And if you count this, you have one, two, three, four and five. If you set this number any lower, let's say to one, it will make it straight. If you set it to seven or eight, it will add more of these bezier lines right here to make it look even smoother. However, for now, we're just going to change the actual color of the phone and we're going to open up the appearance. We're just going to open up the front and back and set this one to a black color. Same goes for the front as well and of course the sides as well. Now the next step is let's say that you wanted to add a video or a picture in front of the phone or at the back of the phone. In this case, what we can do is we can click on the map art right here and this will ask you, would you like to set it to the front or the back? You can even hold shift and highlight both of them by clicking on the bottom. You want to click on OK. And as you can see, we now have two new layers of the pre comps for the front and for the back. So you just want to double left click on here. And now you want to apply yourself a video or anything that you want to add in here. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to apply this video right here. We're going to hide this. And then we're also going to press S for scale. Set this to something like, let's say, 24. And we're also going to make the edges nicely rounded off. And to do this, all we need to do is toggle the modes. We're going to click on the track mat and set this to the second one. Now, sometimes it will disappear like in this case. And if it does, all you need to do is open this up, go to the contents, open this up, and then we're going to go to fill one and set this to 100%. And as you can see, the edges are now nicely rounded off. You can also apply a picture or anything else that you want to do in here. But for now, we're going to close this down. And as you can see, we have the video right here. Now, straight away, you will notice if the phone flips or moves, if we rotate the phone, it won't really apply the changes. So you need to make sure that you tick this checkbox right here, and this will actually pin it onto the phone. And whenever you change the shape, it will apply it onto here. We're going to just mute this and same goes for the back. We're just going to open this up. And for the back, we're just going to apply, let's say a logo. We're going to enable the transparency mode and just press S for scale, set this to something like 10. And we also want to hide this layer right here because as you can see, we have those really thin lines. We're going to close this down and once again, tick this button right here. And if we have a look at this, you can see we have the logo on the back and the video at the front.
And now if we want to animate this, all we need to do is first of all, set the Y to zero. We're going to create a stopwatch at the beginning and then go further out and set this to a full 360. And this will give us a nice full spin around the phone right here. You can even get creative with this if you want to and set, let's say a Z and we're going to set this one to let's say about 15 just to give it a little bit of a twist like this. I would also appreciate it if you guys can go and check out the original creator, show him some love and support. You can also see more in-depth tutorials, which will show you more advanced things that you can do with this plugin.